Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. Today we're going to talk about setting up OpenDNS in OpenSense. And why is this important, you might ask. Um, let's go here. Let me give you an overview of what this is. So if you ping CNN, for instance, .com, then CNN is an IP address. You see, you get a reply from an IP address. Um, the translation between this IP address and this domain name, this is what DNS basically does. So you send all this DNS request to a certain provider, and it can be either your ISP, Internet Service Provider, or any other DNS provider. And if you like privacy, just like me, because I mean, you can build up a whole profile based on one IP and all the requests to the internet, very easy. Um, we need to find a supplier that can provide us privacy. So one of those kind of providers is OpenDNS. And I don't have any shares or stocks or whatever. I don't have that. But if you want to set it up for free, you can set up OpenDNS Family Shield and it's pre-configured to block any adult content or anything that's wrong when it comes to kids. Here we have this picture, very inclusive by the way. And um, you know, your kids can browse the internet no problem because all the bad stuff from the internet is blocked on DNS level. So they cannot even uh, connect to a website or any resource for that matter that's um, deemed to be inappropriate for younger kids. So you can set it up, it's free. OpenDNS Home is free, uh, a VIP package. Uh, this really entails that this uh, whole block list is updated on a regular basis. Um, great stuff. Just start with Family Shield or the classic one based on your demands. Let's go back to the system. So here we have OpenSense and we have services. So you can go here to dynamic DNS. If you have anything else then open DNS, but open DNS is what we're going to focus on and it's going to be quite a quick tutorial basically. So you already saw that this is a free uh, sign up. It doesn't cost you any money. Uh, and the only thing you need to set up is filter DNS request using open DNS click. So every DNS request going to the internet is going to go through OpenDNS. OpenDNS stands for privacy, security, all the stuff that really matters to you if you know how the internet works. But still, uh, check their terms of condition just to be sure what uh, this entails. All right. Do not alter system DNS server settings. Um, Enable this mode when the OpenDNS servers are used by a different network component, but the periodic update behavior is still desired. You don't need to check this because we are going to enable this on this PF, sorry, OpenDNS on this open P, P this OpenSense machine. And this will be the gateway for all our DNS requests. So after you sign up an account, you can fill in your username here, a password, and here the network, enter the network name. So your domain name. So all the computers that are on this domain, they will uh, get DNS requests through this machine to open DNS and OpenDNS will reroute them back to this OpenSense machine. Um, so this is the basic DNS config for your network and that will correspond and be in connection with Open OpenDNS basically, if that makes any sense. So you set up here your um, account information. You can do a test and update. I don't have an account right now because I don't use OpenDNS, I use something else. Uh, I use 
uh, pie hole, but maybe you already saw the video or otherwise we'll just explain it in a couple of future videos. Um, but you can set it up here, username, password, which will be granted when you sign up for an account. You do a test update to see if the connection is there between this OpenSense machine and the OpenDNS machine. And then you'll be granted OpenDNS settings uh, and all your DNS requests. Again, every time you go to a website, you do a DNS request. Everything you do on the internet, a uh, DNS request is the foundation of it. Uh, if you don't want your ISP or anybody else to build up a user profile, you got to investigate an open source DNS service, right? So you, uh, an anonymity and privacy can be maintained on the internet. I hope this makes sense to you guys. Um, and if not, please leave a comment in the description box and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, you can set it up like this and we have dynamic DNS as well. We can set it up. Here is a little bit more configurable. Uh, the service type, Cloudflare, whatever you use. Now we just, the only thing we did right now is just explain you open DNS because this is such a no brainer, but we have various services. So if you, for instance, go to Cloudflare, which is, which I also use, you can also let all your DNS requests go to Cloudflare. They are based in the United States. Okay. They don't take GDPR as serious as we do here in Europe, I must say. Um, do your research on the DNS provider. If you're really passionate about um, your privacy online, then starting with a great privacy friendly DNS provider is a good start. Um, we always set it up on the WAN interface because requests are made from the WAN interface. We have the WAN and the LAN because this is a firewall solution, but this is going to the wide area network to the internet. So just make sure that this is checked as WAN. Hostname, MX records, username, password. It really depends on what kind of service you set up. But here you have an overview of some of the um, DNS providers that are out there. Do your own research. Cloudflare is great, but they operate out of the United States. Again, uh, GDPR compliant. I'm not sure if they are. Uh, I don't think so. Azure, when you use the cloud, many options available. But I would really look into OpenDNS because they already have their own entry here. And the guys that make uh, OpenSense, I mean, they're sec security and privacy minded people. So look in here. Go to the website, set up OpenDNS Home, sign up and get yourself a free account. Looking for threat protection. I mean, look it up. This is all for free. By default, you are limited to your own ISP and you don't know what your ISP does with all your internet traffic and all the statistics because everything is being logged. Trust me, data is a, a big business. So if you care about your privacy online, then this is a great way to start. And straight out of the box with OpenSense, this is all possible. I hope this makes sense. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions whatsoever. And uh, I wish you guys a great weekend. Thanks for watching.